spoken to many of you face to face. So that if I were to put that again, I know that you'd roll your eyes. Or you'd start texting. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. Vice <laughs> and former provost of Stanford University, and former national security advisor, and the 66th Secretary of State of the United States under President George W. Bush. So at this time, please join me in welcoming our 2012 commencement speaker, Dr. Carlisa Ross. Guided by Sirius, that great star of Isis that you worship. She has guided you south, and here you are, day is full, and you're about to land and recover and restore and think about what to do with a new life. You may open your eyes now. So here you are, looking out and thinking, and one of the things you're going to William and Heron Brissett, Will grew up in Dallas. He graduates today with a major in history and a minor in psychology. Will's favorite classes in the major were those who focused on the history of the United States and Texas history. He wisely notes that, quote, when you're learning something that interests you, you get more out of it and it will stick with you longer, end quote. Will especially appreciates the critical thinking skills he acquired by writing so many research papers. There is something special, he says, about devoting so much time to an assignment that when it is completed, no matter what grade you receive, you can't help but be proud of your work. One assignment that was especially satisfying to Will was a paper he wrote for Professor Knox's junior seminar in which he explored President Theodore Roosevelt's foreign policy in East Asia. Will believes that his study of history has been essential to his education, and he knows that what he has learned at SMU will be invaluable as he strives to achieve his most important goal, being a full and happy life. We wish Will well. graduates today with a major in history and a minor in art. Adam majored in history because he knew it would provide a solid educational foundation for any career that he might pursue in his future. He so values the time he spent studying in Europe with both the SMU in Paris and the SMU in Oxford programs that he thinks study abroad should be required for all students. Whether overseas or on campus, he was most engrossed by those classes that explored the history of the British, Roman, Islamic, and Aztec empires. Looking back, Adam says he is now thoroughly amused by his fellow majors constantly complaining about their junior and senior seminar papers. It was serious business at the time, though. In the end, Adam's hard work paid off, as Professors Deluzio and Orlowski both praise him for his fine performance in those two seminars. Reflecting his wide-ranging interests, Adam is a member of the SMU Religious Studies Club, the SMU Art Club, and the SMU Energy Club. He belongs to the Reformed University Fellowship, 
has participated in several mission trips and served as a tutor at Ben Milam Elementary School for two years. He also enjoys reading, fishing, and spending time with friends and family. This summer, Ant was excited to be able to return to Oxford, this time to assist with administering SMU's study abroad program. His long-term goal was to start an oil and gas acquisition and consulting firm. On this occasion, Adam would like to thank his professors for a great four years. From the bottom of my heart, he says, my thanks to the whole history department for an amazing undergraduate career, and we express our gratitude to Adam. Mark Nevin Bowl. Mark graduates today, along with his brother Adam, with a major in history and a minor in anthropology. Mark majored in history because he says, we can't hope to prepare for tomorrow without knowing and fixing the mistakes of yesterday. And because he simply loves to learn. The most important skill he has acquired from studying history is the ability to look at an issue from more than one perspective. The results, he says, will sometimes shock you. One of Mark's favorite classes was his junior seminar on the Spanish Civil War. He was surprised to discover the important role this conflict played as a prelude to World War II, and he hopes to have a chance to visit some of the battle sites one day. His most meaningful moments as a major came from sitting around his apartment with fellow history students Will Brissett, Joe Cooper, and Adam Bowl, and engaging in heated debates about issues they were exploring in their history courses, rather than talking about pop culture and sports. Mark's most memorable classroom experience occurred in his U.S. Civil War course when Professor Siegel arrived dressed in full Confederate uniform. Mark is a member of the Reformed University Fellowship and the SMU Energy Club, and has served as a tutor at Ben Milan Elementary School. His hobbies include hiking, fishing, and photography. Following graduation, Mark begins a job at a family friend's estate in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. He eventually hopes to go to graduate school and work in the oil and gas industry. We now turn our attention to our August degree candidates. The first of these is Oliver John Allman. What's up, man? 